Hello, I'm Sean Kantayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. Today is day 38 in our playlist, our series, in which we show you what to do with a puppy from eight weeks to 16 weeks. And today is a very special day for Toffee and Birdie as they get to put their feet in the grass in a park and walk along a street in my neighborhood. Here we are, outside. Birdie, Toffee, Devin and I are at the Water Street Park. And you can see behind us here, there are lots of things for us to expose the puppies to. Lots of things to do. And so we will be hanging out here for a little while. Yesterday, the puppies got their final DHPP shot. So they're ready for this. And a little later in this video, we'll explain more about why that's so important. But for now, we wanna show you what it looks like when these puppies get the experience of walking on grass for the very first time. Here we go. First time these puppies' feet are hitting the grass. I'm sure they love the smells. So right now we're not going to be so focused on them doing obedience or them following the let's go protocols. Instead, we're just going to let them be dogs and sniff and smell and say hello to me. So we'll do a few minutes like this. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Yes! Yes! Good job! Yes, puppies! Woohoo! They're getting to hear some new sounds and sights, and we're just letting them play and experience what it's like to be on an okay, a release. So they're not having to uh, prove anything or do anything for me at the moment. This is all about them having new experiences. If we need to, we're certainly prepared to uh, redirect a puppy. If a puppy gets into something they're not supposed to be into or something along that line, we will immediately redirect them rather than saying the word N-O. And so we would just do a quick cor correction and pull them away. So you can see there Birdie is considering picking up that. It looks like maybe Toffee did pick it up and so we could say, come this way, and we could get that out of their mouths. Yeah, just like that. Good job, Devin. So you can notice here is a volleyball pit. And uh, these puppies have not been in sand before. So we'll see if they are curious about being in sand. But I'm not so keen on having to bathe them if they start getting too much into the sand. But letting them just be a little bit exposed to it is probably a good thing. So they've just spotted a young child outside and the child was running and they were very curious about what was happening there. But since we don't know that child and since we're not able to make sure that that child knows how to greet a puppy, we're not going to encourage that right now. We do encourage young children to play with and interact with our puppies, but that's when we've had the opportunity to talk with the child about how to pick the puppy up and how to engage with a puppy. You don't ever want to come over top of a puppy's head. You don't ever want to hug or squeeze a puppy too hard. And so we make sure that any children that interact with our puppies know Devin that. has now gotten some treats out and she's now showing them that she has treats. And so we're going to start off with just some outdoor let's go and see how that evolves. Birdie. Toffee's much more ready and willing to do that. Birdie's very interested in something behind her. But here we go. Now we've gotten her attention and we'll do some yeah. let's go. Let's go. Yes, yes let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Good job. Yes. Yes. Yes, let's, yes, go. let's go. So we'll just yes. keep moving and occasionally we have to do a little correction but yes. all is well they're doing very very yes, well very yes, yes let's go let's go yes birdie yes let's go let's go let's go let's go, let's go. 
nicely done and now if you do a stop let's see how how they're doing with their automatic sit yep they didn't remember it because there's too much distraction going on out here but they will get to the point where they do remember the automatic and notice how they're having great eye contact with Devin right now this is outstanding work they are remembering their basic obedience and they're also remembering to stay in this position so this is good yes well done puppies we're just exposing the puppies to the geese, the outdoors, nature, all the beauty around us. Early springtime. Yes. So here we are out on the street in front of my house and we're just going to keep them walking. So you can see what it looks like to be out for a little walk with the dogs. And notice the Jay is in the leash and they're still yes. learning how to be outside and do this. We'll also have to navigate with cars coming so that they get used to the sound of cars. And Devin will keep them on, Devin, you'll keep them on your left. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Can you hear all the birds and the springtime noises? Let's go. Birdie. Yes. Yes, Toffee. Yes, let's go. These are pack animals, so they really enjoy yes. being in a pack, walking yes, in a pack, walking as a group. Let's go. And so what yes. we'll do now is we'll do a U-turn here. And we've got let's a car go. coming, so we need to be conscious of the car Let's coming Let's go. so here we go car sharing the street with us all right so let's get them moving let's, let's go, go. so it's as if toffee has forgotten how to walk but my guess is he might have something in his foot uh, yeah. having stepped on something a little different for him let's, let's go, go. He's very curious by lots of things. Yes. And we'll start teaching them the leave it command now as we Let's correct go. when they're wanting to um, get something. Right. But I'll go. keep walking here. Yes. Here we go. Let's go. Yes. Let's Notice go. the daffodils are out. So pretty. We're gonna have lots of springtime flowers coming soon. Yes. And we've got another car coming, so I'm gonna have Devin pull them over, if you will, and put them in a sit. Put them into a sit while the car passes. Yes. Great. Very nice. All right, so we've got a bit of a Another car coming, so just showing you what this is all looking like. Okay, nicely done. So we'll keep walking here along the street. Let's go! Let's go, puppies! Let's go, puppies! Oh, the horses are thinking I'm calling them to let's go to. They're used to me calling them, so that's uh, funny how that happens but uh, more daffodils and it's just beautiful spring weather. But we'll keep playing with the puppies like this out for a little walk and uh, letting them have the great experience of springtime in Pennsylvania. Devin and I were talking about why it's so important for puppies to have their DHPP shots and to um, have enough time for those shots to acclimate. I have a breeder friend of mine right now who has a, a, a puppy who's gone to a new home and several weeks after the puppy went to the new home, they've learned that the puppy has just come down with parvo. And so the reason that we're so protective about our puppies being out in public after they've been immunized 
is because we want to make sure we avoid parvo. Devin <laughs> happens to uh, have a lot of experience with this. Devin yes. has worked both in a shelter environment mm -hmm. as well as as a vet tech at Quaker Town. So would you tell us just a little bit about your experience of yeah. this? Yeah, so I've noticed working with, um, especially in the shelter, um, a lot of the dogs there, since it is in a shelter setting, and it's very stressful for a lot of dogs to be there, they do have um, a suppressed immune system. So even if they are vaccinated against it, a lot of dogs can still get parvo. And we've had a lot of transports, so um, especially like so puppies who have it and they come up, um, a lot of the dogs there would get it. And I think it's important to just make sure that your puppy who has a very like suppressed immune system, especially before they get vaccinated, um, it's especially important to keep them safe when they're outside. Terrific. And yeah. this is why we're so careful about, this is the first time our puppies are having their their feet in the grass in an unprotected area. So our backyard has been treated with whizzy wash, which makes us know that this, this back patio area, doesn't have any grass, but our back patio has been treated uh, several times with uh, whizzy wash and other kinds of things that are known to uh, get rid of parvo as well as uh, giardia or any other issues. So that's why we can comfortably housebreak our dogs by going outside the back door here into this area. But now we can start to housebreak them and train them even further beyond that into the grass. Yeah. And I'm always so grateful to Devin for sharing her wisdom about all the things that uh, she's learning and knows from being in a vet tech environment. So thank you, Devin.